Hi, this is Mike Sloan with the Pat Hyber Real Estate Group. Thanks for joining our video blog. Today, I'm going to give you five tips on how buyers can win during a multiple bid situation. Before I get started, I wanted to tell you about two great links in the video blog. First, for home buyers, there's a home buyer search. Second, for home sellers, there's a free home market analysis report. So here are five tips on how you as a buyer can win in the multiple bid situation. First and foremost, obviously having a strong price is of the utmost importance. If I have six or seven offers and I'm reviewing them with a the seller, the ones that are the highest price obviously get to the top of the list. So some of the things that you can do in order to ensure your price is strong is to include an escalation. Also, you could agree to pay the difference between the appraised value and sales price in cash at time of settlement. And last, don't do what everybody else does. If you know you're competing against six or seven offers, don't offer list. How about going 500 or 1,000 over list? If you're doing an escalation, instead of just escalating over the highest offer by 1,000, why don't you do 1,250? When you want to zig when others zag. Be a little bit different but having a great price is of the utmost importance. Number two, you wanna have a clean offer. You want to have as few contingencies as possible. In addition, you wanna limit the, the inspections that you decide to do. If you have a mold inspection, a radon inspection, a well, a septic, a lead paint, if you have all of these inspections included in your offer, the seller, when they're looking at it, might think that you are a little nitpicky. So try to limit the number of inspections and overall number of uh, contingencies to make it a clean offer. Number three, you want to have your financing in order when you submit that offer. Fill out a financial information sheet. Fill out a, or have a pre-qualification letter submitted with your offer or even better, have a pre-approval. Also, you want to have no home sale contingencies. If you have to have a home settlement contingency, that's better, but certainly you don't want to have a home sale contingency if you're competing against multiple offers. And last, when it comes to having your financing in order, I think it's a great thing to have a local lender who maybe the seller's agents worked with in the past, give the agent a call to give them the warm and fuzzies about your financial situation. Four is personal appeal. You want to find out as much about the sellers as you can uh, when you're making that offer. Oftentimes we'll include a love letter saying how much you like the lot or what they've done to the decor of the home. You like the back porch. You can imagine yourself sitting on the deck and watching the kids in the wonderful yard. You want to have some personal appeal when you're making that offer. And five, you want to find out what the seller is looking for. Ideally, you'd love to know what the best situation for the seller would be as far as the settlement. Do they want to rent back? Those terms become highly important to make the seller's life easy. And for the final bonus tip, you want to find a realtor that's got a good reputation and one that you can trust. You want to find a realtor that treats others with respect and humility. Egos can be a deal killer. So select the Pat Hyben Real Estate Group. We'd be more than happy to help you. Give us a call or find us on the web at www.hyben.com. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you again.